bet horse racing on DRF Bets. We'll match your first deposit of $200. Get free expert picks and past performances, plus weekly cash back. All from Daily Racing Form, the most trusted name in horse racing. Dan Elman along with Mike Beer. Welcome to Breeders' Cup Focus. In this edition, we're going to take a peek at the top contenders for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. Pre-entry pass performances are available at drf.com. And for all the latest Breeders' Cup news, head on over to drf.com slash bc. Let's take a look at the top 10. They're rated in preliminary morning line odds order. The odds compiled by DRF's Brad Free. Not surprisingly, Mike, a very strong European contingent getting set for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. They are led by the three-year-old daughter of Frankel Nashua, who won the French Oaks this year, won the Group 1 Nassau, and ran very well in this race. The Prix de l'Opera beat and favorite but ran a very good second uh, yeah i mean we're going to take a look at the replay of that pre de l'opera she this is a, a really really tough beat she takes dan I, I thought she ran great in this race um sort of wound up um you know going up to take over the running pretty early on she's just dead game in this race she is holding off all challengers here all the way down into deep stretch and then you're just going to see a big long shot come running from way out of the pack here and close her down at the end. This is a really, really strong performance. The mile and three sixteenths figures to hit her right between the eyes. She seems to handle any sort of footing, whether it's soft or firm. Uh, she has the tactical speed, as you see, to put her in any sort of a race. And she's trained by a master horseman in John Gosden. There's obviously a lot to like about Nashua. Above the curve is a three-year-old daughter of American Pharaoh. She just ran third in the Prix de l'Opera. She was only beaten three quarters of a length. She's very progressive, Mike. She was a French Group 1 winner uh, at Longchamp over the spring, then won a Group 2 at the Cura in her first start off with a layoff. You get the feeling Joseph O'Brien's been prepping for this. Uh, yeah, you do. And um, it does feel like there's a lot of room for her to take another step forward here. Only beaten a nose by Nashua. And that most recent start. Now, she didn't run as well as Nash were there, but she was still hanging around at the end, and she could easily take another step forward. If Dream Loper runs here, it might be a little bit of a stretch from a distance standpoint. She's a Group 1 winner of the Prix du Moulin, going a mile at Longchamp over softer going. Her best races have come a mile and a mile and an eighth. Can she stretch her ability to a mile and three sixteenths? Yeah, well, if, if nothing else, this race being run at Keeneland over a shorter distance than is usual um, for this kind of a race, it, it only helps a horse like Dream Loper. I think she can get the mile in a 316. She's a Group 1 winner um, over nine furlongs over in France. Um, you know, her most recent start when they dropped her back to a mile was a really, really impressive win. And, you know, listen, the Nassau two back, I think the mile and a quarter is too far. They tried to put her on the lead that day, and it just didn't work out. I think this distance actually works for her. The best of the North American based contingent in Italian. She's been in razor sharp form. She won the Diana at a mile and an eighth. She turned back and she won the first lady. This race at Keeneland going a mile. She has blazing early speed. And as we've seen in her last two races, she says, Arriva Derch in the stretch. Yeah, she's been in really, really good form. Her last two races, the two best of her career. Um, and listen, Dan, I feel like if you're going to, you know, take on some really, really classy Europeans, and you want to beat them. I think you want to get in front of them and then keep on going, and that's what Inatan will try to do. For half a horse that's looking or lurking under the radar is trained by Aiden O'Brien. That's the daughter of Galileo. Tuesday, and Tuesday was sixth in the Prix de l'Opera. Maybe the soft going was the excuse for her that day. She was a Group 1 placed three starts back over firmer ground in England, but that was going a mile and a half. Yeah, I listen, I, you know, I think when you go back and watch the replay of that most recent start, it's not a terrible performance. She did get a little tired um, in the late stages, but basically she kept right up with Nashua for most of that trip. She got a little tired at the end. She was always wider than Nashua in there, and she tried really hard. That was not a poor performance. Taking a look at six through 10 for the top 10 list for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. Full fields of pre-entries and past performances available at drf.com. Virginia Joy, she took down Warlike Goddess at Saratoga, but she had a very, very easy lead that day. And if she runs here, there's no easy lead with the likes of In Italian facing her. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, she, listen, she took advantage a little bit to to beat Virginia Joy, or to beat uh, Warlike Goddess, rather. I um, mean, listen, they can't take that win away from her, um, but she's not going to get that kind of a trip in this race, and she still has the Europeans to deal with.
The same questions about distance for Dream Loper as we have for Saffron Beach, a Group 1 winner at a flat mile at DeVille. Uh, I think she's better at slightly shorter distances. I think she might be, too. I'm a big fan of hers, though. I think she has a lot of talent, um, and she's not a horse that I want to be taking too lightly on Breeders' Cup Day, but she is going to have to try to stretch it out. Rougier and Moira ran 1-2 in the E.P. Taylor. It was a much improved performance for Rougier, uh, who had a lot of trouble in that race and still was able to overcome. Yeah, good performance from her to, to pick up a, a grade one win stateside over here. I'm not her biggest fan, but that was a good performance. Looks like the Europeans are going to be very tough in here. They're led by the John Gosden trained Nashua in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. Again, BC pre-entry pass performance is available at drf.com. For all the latest news and notes, drf.com slash BC. This has been Breeders' Cup Focus for the Philly and Mare Turf.